before we jump into the video guys I want to thank the sponsor of this video DWVO I want to thank them also for giving me the opportunity for allowing me to review their products and hopefully in the future guys I'll be uploading many many more reviews on many more of their products so stay tuned for that there's a promotional link in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these you'll get a discount uh, if you click on the link in the description box so just want to thank the sponsors for this video now let's jump into the video okay it's time for us to do an unboxing guys we're gonna unbox these lights let me show you guys how long the box is that you can expect to receive Nine inches tall. It has a colorful installation. All the images are color. It's a quick, easy installation. These static gloves. They feel like anti-static gloves. These would be great when you're working on the computer. When you're changing the hard drives in the computer. I like the fish eye lens. Standard. Man, this looks really nice. It doesn't it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. We're gonna compare it to the OEM one, but My only gripe is the pack in here. There's nothing here. Sounds next to cardboard. So the face of this lens faces down. It seats in there like so. And you can risk cracking it. If this package is mishandled by the carrier, you can risk cracking this lens. One hard throw down. There was no fragile stickers on the box. So I would recommend them at least put fragile stickers on the box. So we're gonna let those rest on there and now let's remove the, the OEM ones. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this entire thing really quick. This entire wheel well with the wheel off. But we, all we need to do is uh, remove some of these retainers and those couple of screws or bolts and flip this back to get that uh, bolt underneath, uh, uh, inside the fender removed. Okay, now that we're in here, I'm gonna put a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket on here. Just loosen a little bit, that's it. Just loosen that bolt a little bit so we can pull that light out. My wire's broke anyway. Okay, with a 10 millimeter. I'll remove this one, 10 millimeter. And remove this one.
Okay, we got both uh, the old and the new. I want to make a disclaimer and disclosure. Whenever I'm working on something, I'm very meticulous on how I do things and how I work. If you subscribe to my channel, you would know that. If not, um, just want to kind of make that clear. This was broken. All these tabs were broken. Just got this vehicle about a, uh, a month and a half ago now, and I've well, almost two months, and I've done so much to it. Somebody didn't care, didn't take care of it all. Although I've installed some, I do got an aftermarket bulb uh, installed on my channel. They installed some uh, very bright uh, aftermarket lights on here as well. It was a whole kit. They just put this back on when I got the vehicle. But yeah, all these tabs were broken. All this was broken. This is not new brakes. These are old brakes. So the other part is going to be the same way too. And there's been some damage to the front of that vehicle. Like um, I said, nobody, somebody who ever owned that truck just didn't care. Just didn't care. It needed brakes really bad, a whole bunch of more things. And I've remedied most of it on my channel. But just wanted to note that. Me just pulling this out didn't affect, I didn't scratch the bumper up. I didn't do any, no harm to this headlight assembly. But what we are going to do is transfer the harness, complete harness, over to this. Start removing it. Get all this stuff out of our way. Get these stickers off. Got these little tabs on them. So you can just pull up on these tabs and uh, peel back uh, these stickers. These are stickers. They peel back. They keep the lens, the inside of the lens from getting dirty, so I kind of think that's cool. So we're going to transfer the harness uh, onto here. And if you look at this, this clip should be here. Like that. So let's transfer uh, the harness with the exception of the lights. We don't need the lights uh, itself. We just got to remove the harness. Only the harness. So I'm going to show you guys that. We're going to get the camera roll, keep the camera rolling and show this entire swap out. So let's kind of get things in position. I'm not going to film the other side because after this side uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory but I will show you guys how to remove the uh, wheel well off the other side as well. Okay, this is a good time to replace your bulbs. I'm gonna inspect these bulbs. One of them wasn't working. This is, appears to be fine. This appears to be fine. This one, I may replace this one with an LED. But for this installation, super easy and simple. This is for the daytime running lamps. You wanna hook them up to the marker lamps. So we're gonna splice into these wires. The gray goes to the red. The gray goes to the red and the black goes to the black. So we're gonna do that connection on cam as well. I'll film it and show you guys how I'm gonna do it. But let me check out, let me see if I find a bulb for this really quick. I got quite a few different kinds. These are very bright. I got some of these. These are decent. Have these as well, and I got these. So I may just go with the white one. These are pretty bright. I may just go with this one. Another thing, when you remove these bulbs and you install a new one, it may not work. You have to put them in a direction it comes out. If you can see the metal. Let me set this down. 
the metal prong is on this side. So it'll go back in that way. But we're gonna install this one. So we got this on the gray and this on the black. So we use some uh, electrical tape. The bulbs are, they're on the housing, H11. Nine double oh With this one, it won't seat in here, guys. Look at that. It eventually go in, but it won't seat. Okay, I gotta force it out. Look at this. There should be a gap there in these headlight assemblies. The, I removed the adhesive from the other one as well. It's a little bit more gapped, but it should be like that. If you look at the factory headlight assembly, look at that. That's how it should be on both of them. So I'm not gonna Dremel out. I'm not gonna try to get my Dremel tool and Dremel this out because I don't want uh, all of that material floating around inside there. I may, won't be able to vacuum it out. So I'm just gonna try to lift this a little bit with a flight head screwdriver. Just see what I can do. You gotta be careful because you can crack that material so I'm going to have to get this in here the best way I could. And so it's caught, but it's not locked all in. I'm going to have to put something around here to keep the moisture from out of here. I don't want to drill into the material. So this is the flaw, guys, on these so far. We're going to plug up everything and check for. Uh, I'll put some around here, though. I'll show you guys. I'll put some around here in a second. For, before we test it, let's do a comparison, guys. With the exception of this defect uh, these are got an OEM feel to it they feel they don't feel cheap they feel equally as good as these they don't feel cheap or they don't got a cheap look to them I guess a bunch of aftermarket headlight assemblies that I do not like this feels pretty good these feel OEM ish if you look at this it's pretty much the same this may got a of course this is a better made product but it's not that far off it's not that far off so uh, let's do a test real quick let's plug them in and get a test but let's do a comparison of the outer lens with this outer lens let's do a side by side and see how they look okay here's a side by side or a top and bottom comparison I say the material the reflective material on these are not it's equally as good as these. They look the same. 
Right, so this has an OEM feel to it. I want to curious to see how this gonna light up. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. The marker amber light looks good, but not bad. So you don't want to remove this until we get the light installed. Move it out the road. So I put some tape around for right now. I'd rather do this for now than to start uh, trying to drill some of that plastic off to get this to seat in here perfectly. Obviously, it doesn't have the height, so you drill off in there. Here goes a prime example. I don't want to crack none of that material. So I'd rather it seat in like this, but um, this one should be fine. We, we may we make it get this one to work perfectly. But let's plug me in and see if it's worth it. I'll put a dab of glue right here to hold this in place. Some silicone or something. Let's turn the brights on. I'm not sure what's going on in here, but the uh, high beams are not working. It's plugged up perfectly. My high beams work fine. On the old ones, these work fine. All right, when I went to reinstall the light, the headlight assembly, uh, the head, the brights wasn't working. I can't get the brights to work for nothing. And I tested the wires. I tested my multimeter, and I'm not getting power. The green wire here runs the high beams. I wouldn't get any power, so there's nothing uh, melted or anything uh, to show that there are signs of a broken wire inside this harness. Nothing. I've taken it apart. Nothing. But with that being said, I knew these vehicles run off of, uh, the high beams have their own separate fuses. And lo and behold, show you guys, let's get some light under here. The high beam fuses, that's uh, for the right side, number 29, the left side, 31. HI headlamp, that's for the high beams. We're gonna check 29, we're gonna check 31. How I got it sitting now, guys, look at this. How I have it sitting right now, that's exactly how uh, the fuse box is uh, facing. That's the diagram of the fuse box. In this direction, this is the direction of all the fuses. This a diagram of the fuses, this is how it face. You face it this way and you get the uh, placement of all the fuses. So this is the fan high here. This is the fan high there. So you come down, fan high, fan control relay. Up under there is number 29. This is the fan control relay. This is 29. So we're going to put this on the continuity test so we can test for continuity to see if we got a broken fuse or not. And if it's continuity, you'll hear it beep. So I'm going to try to one hand this. That's 29. You hear it beeping. The very next one, as you guys can see, under it is 31 which is the left-hand side. Now, if it doesn't beep, we know it's blown. Nothing. Blown fuse, that's our problem. So let's replace that fuse. We're gonna use Smart Glow Fuse. So this fuse will light up 10 amp. You wanna go with a 10 amp. Don't go over, above a 10 amp. This fuse lights up when it blow. I'm not sure why the fuse blew. Hopefully, um, uh, there's no problem with anything. Maybe uh, it happened when I unplugged it. I hope everything is okay. We're going to monitor that, though. But we're putting this smart fluids in it. It glows when it blows. Got these long needle nose. Everything's okay. So, uh, let's install the headlight, guys.
So I got an issue, guys. I got to find out why is this blowing? What's touching what down here? It can only be happening here. I even got one of the older bulbs and just seeing what's going on. But I got to figure this out right now so I can install this light. So I'm almost positive I found the problem. Look at this, guys. Look at that clip off that ground. It's touching on the hot right there. Should be gapped like this. So we got to get a flathead screwdriver and open that up some more. All it does, that clip does is hold that light in place and it's touching there. So you guys might be, want to be um, watching this carefully, you know, because you can see it right there. It's touching where it shouldn't be. It's not a good design. Really not. So let me bend that out with a flathead screwdriver real quick. All right, got the needle nose down in there. Bent it up, we should be good now. It's not gonna move. So I got everybody moving on. Let's slip this rubber boot back over this and um, it starts like. So you want to make sure those guide pins or guide posts light up in those holes. Top. There's some bottom ones there. The bottom right there. And make sure it goes onto your screw like that. I put that wax on to protect everything. Let's finish putting this, putting this together. Okay, we're perfectly installed. The scratch has been there. It's a whole lot of scratches on this truck. So now we want to tighten up this guy. So now let's get in here and tighten up that. So here we are on the passenger side. I got the entire wheel cover move, removed. Just got through doing a lot of work on here. Total tune up, that's on the channel. But here's the boat and the housing appears to be intact on this side. So uh, I'll show you guys the clip. I'll put a clip in there how to remove this entire thing or partially remove it with the wheel off. All right, cover is off, super easy. Now use the trim tool to remove the, this harness from off of here.
man, that looks sleek, guys. That looks real sleek. Can't wait, you guys. The camera don't do it justice. We're gonna take a look at it outside. Other side is done as well. Also want to mention, I just did a rear main seal. Uh, oil was looking bad out here. Somebody did a terrible job replacing the oil pan on this vehicle. I replaced that, so there's a video on the channel for that. And they did a terrible job replacing the rear main seal. So I have to do a, an amazing video for that as well. Done. Total tune-up also on this vehicle. That's on the channel. Motor mount was bad. That's on the channel as well. So I just want to note that. Okay guys, here's a look at it in the garage drive by y'all. It's mean in the front. Do the balance. Just did a video on the balance, how to install it. Man, this thing is aggressive. It looks like the newer ones. That's in front of this G in 2015 to 2020. Kind of got their resemblance with the lights. They kind of uh, give me that feel of the next gen. That's good. 